What's up guys? I have a new EDC for you. Actually it's not new, it's kind of just all a bunch of old stuff that I've now been carrying to work. This is my new work EDC, or what I've been using recently. Subject to change, it will change. So if you don't mind, this is my 2019 work everyday carry for the springtime. Enjoy. All right, so this is my new work everyday carry. I'm just gonna start out with this real quick because it's this plain old bandana, uh, whatever, goes in my left rear pocket. Get that out of the way. Then, something that hasn't changed, it's my wallet. I still use this thing. VanQuest, this is for outside of work, when I'm at work. I am looking around for a new one. It has RFID blocker and all that. I keep a set of lock picks. Uh, my phone is the uh, Galaxy Note 9 in a UAG case, works great. My knife, for this EDC, and you'll see why, has been the Zero Tolerance 0808. I took the pocket clip off it for now. Uh, it's, it's supposed to go on this side. I'm still, still haven't fixed that freaking bolt, but anyway, you'll see why I have this knife in a second. But I usually rotate the uh, 0808 with my Benchmade, um, which is the dog bit, so. They're not that strong. The dog pretty much ate it. Thankfully, she didn't get hurt. Um, but she got the knife and uh, went to town on it. Now it's a piece of crap. But anyway, I wear. It. I still use it for work. I mean, it still works fine. And then the Kershaw fly through. So those are my knives. But I've been using the ZT because of this setup that I have, and you'll see in a second. For a wristwatch is my new. G-Shock DW5600HR, which is the Heritage Red series. Um, you know, it's just your plain old G-Shock, regular Jane, uh, regular plain Jane, no, you know, atomic solar timekeeping or anything like that. I have another one here. It's the blackout version, which I like. This is my EDC for outside of work. This thing is going to get banged up. You can already see probably like welding sparks and grinding sparks all over this thing just completely melting that resin but anyway uh, great watch great beater watch pretty cheap I got this one for like 70 bucks so I like it and it matches my work color so obviously anyway for a pen um, this is the James pen it's it's pretty expensive but it's uh it's basically awesome <laughs> it's a $70 pen but I love this pen like a lot so it's pretty much the one that I use all the time. Uh, and then other than that, I switch out for this one because the pocket clip on your Fisher Space Pen is just so great. It's not a, This one's not as good even and it's because it's plastic, but these are the two pens I use. I like the James Pen a lot. I mean, it's just really light aluminum, uh, cool clicker. It's got a little lanyard on it. It's just unique. I like the knurling on it, and it's just a good pen. It writes well. and. That's my pen. For notepads, I always use the Log and Jotters. This is the new one for March. And then a f either a field note or something. This is a new one I haven't used yet, but I always have a notepad in my pocket at all times, pretty much. But this goes on my belt, and my belt is a Trevec cinch belt, made in the USA. Just a beautiful belt. I've had this thing for like three years now. I mean, it carries my firearm, carries all my gear, and it carries this thing every single day at work. This is a custom-made sheath from Sweets Leatherworks. He made this for me a while back now and I need to get some leather oil on there and start taking care of it a little bit. It's also missing a button. The button got caught. He sent me some new ones out to replace it and uh, even taught me how to even wrote directions on there what I need to use to, to set them or whatever. Just haven't got to it yet, but I will. But um, this was made for a mini Sharpie. I just never used it, and uh, you know, I know I figured maybe in a shit hits the fan scenario, I could always throw a, si a ferrocium rod or something in there. So I just left it because you never know. You're gonna need that extra little area. Um, this side over here was originally designed for the Olight S1R baton, the original which is not the one with this nice knurling, but the older version. Mine uh, stopped working. It's a 800 lumens or 900, this is a thousand. But 
I, I sometimes I use this light still for it, but I just don't like how it sticks out of the bottom there. The other one did it too, and sometimes when you like get in a car or a truck or whatever, it likes to pop out. So the S1 Baton Mini fits in there so perfect. It just goes right in there. I mean, it sticks out a little bit, but other than that, it's it's pretty much perfect for it. So this is the light that I carry every single day, pretty much. And you can see this is the workhorse light. And uh, this here is the uh, S1 Baton Mini. It does all the different modes and all that. And, you know, the dim light mode or ghost mode or whatever the heck you call it. it clips onto your hat if you need it to, which I use a lot when I'm doing frames. Actually, you know, you just, while it's on your head, you just click the button and you have light. So when I'm doing frames, scraping a frame or doing a pre-check on a truck or whatever, I just whip this thing off of my belt and put it on my hat and go to town uh, go to town prepping a truck for paint the frame or you know whatever you can see the buttons all worn I mean I use this light a lot and it comes with me every single day so that is my work EDC light now inside here I keep a leather and surge and this a couple of things actually first we'll pull out the Giltec Ruck this is the tool that I use a lot. Now I work in a body shop. I do body and paint and stuff as a full time job. Uh, and I work on big heavy trucks, not cars. So big Mack trucks, freight liners, Peterbilt, stuff like that. So this thing here is a little razor uh, Giltec, little razor tool, which I love. And you can, I like to trim my body work down off edges or uh, lines. You got to get lines. I do a lot. I mean, taping up trucks with this thing is perfect. This is the perfect body man's tool. I have a little extra lanyard on there just to give it a little grip. I like to hold it back here like this. Uh, I have a review on this. I'll leave in the card, uh, one of these sides, I don't know, for you to check out. And I also have the new one. The uh, I have a review or like a unboxing type of video on the new Giltec, which has a pry tool, a bit driver, a fishing line string cutter or like you want to it's not going to cut power cord like as a whole but it'll cut the mini power cords inside and uh, that's part of the razor blade which is a really cool design and uh, you know the bit the bit driver is great you know you can get some torque on something or some leverage on a bolt that you're having trouble with especially if you carry something like this I didn't switch for this yet as my work EDC uh, uh, for my work one one, because I like this for the camera, more with my camera equipment, and I don't use my camera equipment at work because it has this pry tool little thing here, and I like to tighten my cameras up with that. And then the other is the lanyard. I like the lanyard on there at work, and there's no point to have it on this one. So I kind of wish he made the hole here or something, but I don't know. It's, it's his design. I like it either way. It's just, uh, it's really cool. So, but I use this is in my pocket, like basically right now. Like it. This is my house, EDC, little tool, it just goes in there. Uh, the other thing I always carry in my work EDC is something I've, ha I've carried in my uh, sheath for since I got this thing. And uh, that is the Brassworks Mini Pry Tool Bottle Opener. Now this one is titanium. He made this for me. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, he's been talking about sending me one for a while and finally got uh, got one out to me and uh, it's really awesome and I like it a lot. Now this is the one I've had for a while and it's brass and I really use the crap out of this thing. I still use it to this day. It kind of stays in my camera bag now. Uh, I love the grip on this thing. But the titanium one lightened up my EDC a lot and uh, it's just really cool little tool you can see he's got his uh, logo on there Brassworks and I'll leave the link below for his Instagram and his website that's uh, Brassworks a big cartel uh, I believe it's called his name's John Smith over 875 FPS or man I always get that wrong but I'll leave the links below for you guys to check out so this he sells these on his website he also makes these um, what are they called like the Victorinox uh, he custom makes them, he takes them apart, stone washes them, um, and puts like little little crosses or states of Texas in there and stars and custom made tools, custom made little tools and stuff. It's just really cool, little pry tools, all kinds of things for your EDC addictions. So go ahead and check him out. This thing 
is totally rad. I love the freaking lanyard. I wasn't even expecting that. The lanyard on there just is so much cool. It's just and like, what do you? What do I use this thing for? One, uh, I open bottles with it. Uh, I work at a um, beverage distribution company, the biggest in the world. And uh, a lot of times I do have to open glass bottles and uh, check things and check for safety. So it comes in handy for that. Also, uh, I use it to do the same thing I do with this one. As far as when I'm doing body work and stuff, I'm scraping extra blobs of body work off right before it dries or whatever. Or I'm digging pieces of stuff out or seam sealer or whatever. I use it a little bit at work. This is titanium. I'm much stronger. And uh, it's just... I use it. I mean, it's a tool. I know it's probably not going to get all torn up like this one, but that's what I use it for. So, you know, and they look great in this EDC, which you will see in the B-roll right now. do you know if that looks that dope so we don't with the titanium oh by the way the zero tolerance in case I haven't mentioned why is because of this 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 knife is titanium scales it's s35 v steel it is the most expensive knife that I own Todd Rexford design it's beautiful I love the zero tolerance knife it just it's just so so nice so that's, and these two together with the silver, you know, look at the B-roll. I mean, come on. And now next up is the Leatherman Surge. So I'm really looking forward to getting the new ones that are much lighter, the freeze with the magnet or whatever. But this is the Leatherman Surge. Uh, this is probably the best multi-tool you can get. This is going to be in the car once I get the new one. So I am switching up my work EDC again soon, so keep an eye out for that. I don't know if I'm going to use the same one or have him make me a black one this time or a different one to match the new setup, but we'll see. But this is the Leatherman Surge. Got a bunch of different tools on it, knives. Um, I use I have the saw on mine instead of the file because I use the saw for cutting fiberglass off the bottoms of hoods. The excess fiberglass when you do fiberglass work, I use this all the time for that, all the time. Uh, and this thing just basically lives on my belt when I'm at work. When I go out in the yard to get a truck or there's like a headlight falling off or, you know, you're doing pre-checks on trucks, you need one of these anyway. Tighten things, things can come loose. Headlight bolts, mirror bolts, whatever it is, you know, if you don't want to get DOT stopped with a loose mirror or something or a bumper end. So it's a big, like, $2,000 fine for that stuff, even more. So that's pretty much why I do that. And that is my work EDC. Pretty awesome, right guys? I know, I know. Alright, so, alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We got more, tons of more videos. I'm, like I said, this whole everyday carry thing is going to switch in like a month or two when a new uh, Leatherman Free comes out and some other things I've been eyeing up, so stay tuned for that. I have a new knife on the way soon. Super can't wait for it. Some people know what it is, some of you don't. It's not anything that I have, obviously. Anyway, um, flyers are on, so I got to go. I'll see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.